Welcome to the short video on the dashboard in Sage Inventory Advisor. My name is Craig and I'll be stepping you through the screen today just to give you a quick overview of what is the purpose of the screen and how does it add value to your business. So the dashboard really is around focusing on what's gone wrong in a business. Uh, it's a tool that the planner would use on a day-to-day -day basis, even managers tend to use it, to very quickly identify where to put your energy and your focus to find out what's gone wrong. And as we know, inventory is always a balance between your stock and your fall rate. So on the screen, obviously in those two areas, we start measuring what is your current stock on hand against a model or ideal stock position. We balance that out against the full rate, which is shown in the three graphics just below that, or the three following KPIs, and you can see the full rate that you're achieving against a target full rate. Now this is the balance that we're all trying to affect at all points in time, but to know what's gone wrong, there's a story that gets told here for every single location that we're looking at. And against the stock, against the model that we're looking at here, you can see that we've got 7.8 million tied up in access at this moment, spread across 325 products, which obviously is a key area to focus on to reduce the stock. Now that's a bit reactive, so what we like doing here is adding in a view that says, not only have you got that excess, but you've got another 62 items that's coming at you that's going to incur an additional 3 million that's going to add to your excess stock and add to your overall stock when it lands. So that's your proactive area over here. And the best time to deal with the surplus order is the day after the order was created. The worst time, obviously, is just before it's arriving. So the trick with surplus orders is to catch them early and try and deal with them as quick as you can. The whole balancing act that we're busy with here, as I said, is stock versus full rate. And just below this, we see the full rate measure over here, giving us a very quick view that says, hey, we're not achieving the full rate we set out to achieve because we've got 304 items today that are out of stock. And those 304 items, if we measure the requirement from now until the next delivery can take place, which would either be the lead time or the next delivery, we could incur a lost sale for those products of 1.3 million. To make matters worse, we've also got this proactive um, measure on the right-hand side here that says there's a further 28 items that aren't out of stock today, but if we don't do something different in the next while, we could potentially lose another 1.3 million in lost revenue on those products because they aren't going to last until the next delivery can take place. So you can see very quickly a quick view and a key set of measures that gives us a quick acid test or overview of our stock. So the next aspect I'd like to focus on on the dashboard is really giving you a view on how to use this on a day-to-day -day basis to drill into lists and to understand more about the items that require your attention or action. So the key things that I really like around this is the ability to very quickly drill into lists. You know, if you want to build up a list of what are your excess items, you typically have to uh, generate a list of all the cells, all the forecasts, and go and put this into Excel and sort and add formulas. Really, all we've got to do here is click on the number and it gives you a full list of all the items. You've also got behind this the ability to further filter this list. So not only have I got the excess items, I have also can now go and select only selected groupings or product codes or part of descriptions to narrow the scope of the list down. We've also got at the bottom of this the ability to quickly drop this into an Excel or a CSV format file, which allows you then to pivot it and do whatever else you want to inside Excel as a further utility. So getting into the list, very quick and easy to do. You can also drill in straight from the items here, so if you want to see what's going on for an individual item, you can literally just click on the hyperlink and that takes you into the detail of that. So we've got a good set of measures that give us an overview of the products and where we're going and what's going on in the business. You've got the ability to very quickly slice and dice and drill into issues that may be occurring in your business and to find the problem items and to deal with that. That takes a huge load off the day-to-day -day management because a lot of time is spent just trying to get to those questions and those lists of items. Another key thing that you've got on this dashboard over here, because we know that data purity is the key issue around um, using a system like this, is this view of the data purity here. Now this data purity dashboard over here, if you click into the full list, will give you a full report of all the aspects around the data flowing into the system. So we measure around about uh, 52 different aspects to the data, and if any of those tests fail, you get a report in the background that says, hey, this is wrong, this looks incorrect. Simple things like items without a cost price. You know, these are things that may or may not be an issue in your business, but could point to a couple of key areas that you need to go and work on. Another recent addition to the front end screen here is the top new items. And what we found is that new items tend to confuse the other measures that you were looking at. 
So what we've done is we've separated them out. Items with stock in hand or stock in order where there is no forecast or no sales history to generate a forecast are items that you can't really assess where you are. So we've put them into a list and we call them top new items if they've been around for less than 12 months. That means we should be looking at this list and providing some sort of guidance and input to the system in the form of a forecast to help drive the calculation of levels and triggers and alerts in the system. So really that's all I really wanted to try and cover in this short little video and just give you a bit of a flavor for this. I hope that's been informative and as always we'd love to hear from you in terms of feedback on these little videos.